Hi, I'm Sheriff Tim Goblin. Thanks for watching BCSO TV. Today we want to highlight another success story of the Bradley County Sheriff's Office. I have with me three deputies as well as Chief Dyer. They're over here. Chief, good to see you again hey. today. Daniel Jones, School Resource sure. Officer yes, at the Lake Forest. Right. Zach Pike. Zach, what uh, zone were you Southeast. working today? Southeast. Casey Kerr, what zone were you working today? Southeast also. All right, these guys were working here. We got a call today. Tell us about the call you got and the success we had. Well, a citizen called us that uh, lives in the area of, area of Blue Springs Road. Um, he called to let us know that he had a suspicious person on his property. Uh, we didn't really know what he had at first, and then we got there. Uh, come to find out the guy had actually attempted to break into his house. And with the work of us three and that citizen and a couple other deputies, we were able to catch him. Partnership. Now, Daniel, you responded from Lake Forest. That's correct. It was near uh, the school. You responded there. Casey, you responded from the zone, and we were able to apprehend this uh, fellow. He's not from here, but he came into Bradley County to burglarize some residents here, didn't he? Right. His address shows he's a resident of Sweetwater, Sweetwater, Tennessee, but he's been living in Bradley County. And right now, he's in the Bradley County Jail. Uh, we always have room for one more in the Bradley County Jail, so uh, we're never too crowded to uh, not accept at least one more. Uh, so guys, what's the message to somebody that would come in and try to burglarize our residents here in Bradley County? Well, the message is, be it from out of town or local, if you're trying to burglarize one of our residents, we're going to catch you. All right, we're coming after you. Appreciate you watching BCSO TV. Remember, when we say protect and serve, we mean it.